I love scuba diving. I love it because it takes me places that I've not been before. It's such a great way for me to relax. It's a great way for me to learn about things. I meet really cool people diving. For the majority of my life, I've been struggling to get through it. Raising a son as a single mom, working at a job that I loved, but it was a lot of demand. I honestly, at one point, thought, do I have a skill set that is marketable other places? Because I've been at the company I was at for such a long time. And when I found this outlet of Dive Heart, one, it showed me that I did have a skill set, that I was able to give this small nonprofit some of my skills to help them develop. And that was very rewarding. We became an agency of training adaptive divers and adaptive buddies because I was able to coach them through, let's finish up this book, let's get stuff online, let's you know get it out there for people. When I first started with Dive Heart, it was me talking to moms and dads, brothers and sisters on the deck because I wasn't yet a diver. Then I became a diver and I started to be able to work with people in the water and I really loved learning from the other buddies, the other divers. I feel like they had so much to impart to me, but then I was able to turn around and give it to others. So now it's pretty cool that I get to coach new buddies and I get to talk to new adaptive divers and guide them through maybe some of their ups and downs or tell them what might be expected, those types of things. It's always a purposeful type of work for me. If I'm working while we're on a dive trip, it's because I want people to be able to have the best experience that they can have. You know, people are asking me to the side saying, you know, Tina Marie, I really would like to dive with so-and-so and I haven't yet on this trip. That gives me pleasure to then go work a situation where that person can dive with someone new or two people can dive together that hadn't gone diving yet on the trip together. Jim offered me executive director the year before I actually became executive director. And I said, no, no, I don't want the title. I don't, I, that's not me, I'm not really doing that. And then throughout the year, I found myself saying like, well, I'm a special projects person. And they're like, that doesn't mean anything to us. So at the end of a year, I said, okay, make me executive director because I can get more done with the title than without the title. It isn't, you know, people patting you on the back going, oh, thank you for all you do. It's paying the bills. It's making sure we have coverage at the office. It's making sure that our IT is up, the website's up. Are things being changed on time? You know, those types of things. I like doing it because I find it a challenge and I know it needs to get done. That is why coming on trips and going to pool programs is actually my bonus because that's where I get to interact with people that go, oh, you're doing something. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you're doing something with us. It's much more hands-on and I really, really find that to be the part that keeps me sane. We are an opportunity for people to come together, for people to get out of their comfort zones. It gives families an opportunity to come together, to be in roles that they aren't typically in in their family dynamic. And one of the beautiful things is finding out you yourself, that you have things to give that people not only need, but they want. When we can give people purpose, whether they be a volunteer, an adaptive diver, a donor, uh, just someone that's there going rah, 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 it makes me happy. When Dive Heart started, you know, they were thinking we need a tag, uh, a slogan, if you will, and it was making possibilities for disabilities. When I started with Dive Heart, we were talking about, you know, do we re-image a little bit? You know, what can we use? What can, what can make it different? And on the back of the shirts, it says, imagine the possibilities. And I saw that and said, that's our slogan. Imagine the possibilities, because that's what we do. We're constantly thinking, you know, how can we strive farther? How can we bring more people on a trip? How can we make buddies? How can we make the training better? All of those things. It's all about imagining possibilities, imagining yourself in a different situation, and then realizing 
that you can achieve it. And when you achieve it, there's just more stuff to imagine.